good morning to all of you this is morali here we are in the chapter reconciliation of cost and financial accounts in the previous class we have completed with the problem number 3 now we are moving to the problem number 4 kindly go through the problem number 4 i hope you have written the problem number 4 in your notes book okay so kindly go through the problem the following figures have been extracted from the financial accounts of the xyz limited for the em 2020-21. All the particulars are given here. Direct, direct material is 25 lakhs. Direct wages 15 lakhs. Factory overhead, administrative overhead, selling and distribution overhead, bad debts, preliminary expenses written off, legal charges, dividend received, interest received, sales. Then the closing stock is given. Finished goods. Then lastly, work in progress. Closing stock. Closing stock of closing value of work in progress. That is rupees one lakh twenty thousand. That is given. Then the cost accounts, cost accounts for the year uh, is showing that direct material consumption, direct material consumption of was rupees twenty eight lakhs. Factory overhead is is recovered at twenty percent on prime cost. Then administrative overhead is recovered as at rupees six per unit. And the selling and distribution overhead is recovered at rupees eight per unit. Okay, so this is second information is with regard to the cost. Basically, how the factory overhead has to be considered, and how the administrative overhead has to be considered, and how the selling and distribution overhead has to be considered. Okay, so this is what actually the problem. We need to prepare the profit and loss account as per the financial accounts, then cost sheet as per the cost accounts, and recons. We need at the final if there is a recons. Why we need to reconciliation? We need to reconcile the profit as per two records. It is given here. The reason is to tally the actually the uh, uh, to find out the reason for difference in the uh, profit as per the financial accounts and the profit as per the cost accounts. Okay. First, let us start with the solution. Kindly write the solution. So you can prepare profit and loss account also firstly, or you can prepare uh, cost sheet also. That is left to you. Okay. So I'm starting with the profit and loss account. Okay. We can start from. We can start from cost sheet also. We can start from um, profit and loss account also. Intention is to calculate. Uh, financial profit and the costing profit. Okay, so in instead of preparing cost sheet, so we can also prepare. We can also prepare the the uh, costing profit and loss account. So we have the option. We have the option to prepare. Okay, so I'm starting with profit and loss account. Profit and loss account for the year ended thirty first March two thousand twenty one. Particular rupees. Particular rupees. Okay. So starting with the Direct materials, starting with direct materials, two direct materials, two direct materials, two direct materials. What's the value of direct materials? Write the value of the direct materials. Twenty-five lakhs. Twenty-five lakhs. Then after direct materials, direct wages. Two direct wages. Two direct wages. Next one is direct wages. Two direct wages. Write the amount of direct wages. Fifteen lakhs. Amount of direct wages that is fifteen lakhs. Then, is there any other uh, direct expenses that has to be considered in at the part in the part of calculating gross profit? Okay, usually we don't consider factory overhead. Uh, many considers factory overhead in the first part. So you have the option because factory overhead can be variable. Factory overhead can be fixed. Uh, both the possibilities are there, but we don't consider factory overhead in the calculation of prime cost. Okay, so at the time of uh, once here we consider it as a direct expense, but in the cost sheet we consider that as a indirect expense. Okay, 
so such in the same problem we will make the difference that should not be happen that should not happen so i'm considering cost factory overhead in profit and loss account as of indirect expenses and in prime uh, cost sheet also i'm considering that factory overhead as indirect expenses because we don't consider the factory overheads in the in the calculation of prime cost we don't consider so so i'm considering factory overhead as indirect expenses okay so then administrative overhead since so selling and distribution overhead bad debt is a financial expense should be considered in the second next part first we need to calculate the gross profit and then legal charges okay dividend received financial income interest received then sales by sales kindly write the amount by sales by sales at the amount of sales sales 60 lakhs sales 60 lakh 60 lakh okay then what then closing stock by closing stock by closing stock by closing stock first thing is about the finished goods then next thing is about the work in progress so we can write together or we can write separately also first one finished goods write the value of the finished goods finished goods what is the value of finished goods 1,60,000 one lakh sixty thousand then what work in progress write the value of the work in progress one lakh twenty thousand write the total two lakh eighty thousand total is two lakh eighty thousand total is 2 lakh 80000 okay make the total 62 lakh 80000 62 lakh 80000 both the side 62 lakh 80000 okay calculate the gross profit 62 lakh 80000 minus 15 lakhs minus 25 lakh 62 lakh 80,000 minus 15 lakh minus 25 lakh gross profit is 22 lakh 80,000 gross profit is 22 lakh 80,000 that's what gross profit to gross profit carried on to gross profit carried on okay brought down that gross profit by gross profit brought down by gross profit brought down by gross profit brought down What's a gross profit? Gross profit is twenty two lakh eighty thousand. Okay. Now write the indirect expenses to factory overhead. To factory overhead. To factory overhead. Write the amount of factory overhead. Amount of factory overhead eight lakh eight lakh then to administrative overhead to administrative overhead to administrative overhead what is the amount of administrative overhead 
to administrative overhead okay write the amount of administrative overhead 350000 350000 then two selling and distribution overheads next one to selling and distribution overheads to selling and distribution overheads you write the amount of selling and distribution overheads amount is 480000 amount is 480000 then to bad debt financial loss to bad debt to bad debt amount which is considered as bad it is not recoverable okay to bad debt okay write the amount of bad debt bad debt 40000 financial loss two preliminary expenses written off two preliminary expenses written off two preliminary expenses written off write the amount of preliminary expenses written off that is 20000 that is 20000 20,000 then to legal charges actually legal charges are the administration expenses actually it should have been included in the administration expenses or overhead 350 plus 5,000 should have been given in total actually um, 354,000 should have been given but legal charges it is given separately so we have to write it separately to legal charges to legal charges amount is 5000 amount is 5000 then dividend received dividend received is a financial income by dividend received by dividend received 50000 by dividend received 50000 Then by interest received, financial income, interest received on the, maybe on deposits or on investments. Dividend received means investment in securities, on the investment in securities. By interest received, 10,000, 10,000. Interest received is 10,000. Then closing stock, that we have considered, sales, closing stock that we have considered in the First part okay, in the calculation of gross profit. Now make the total, make the total. What's the total? 22 lakh 80,000 plus 50 plus 6, 10,000. 23 lakh 40,000. 23 lakh 40,000. 23 lakh 40,000. Okay. 23 lakh. 40,000 okay calculate the net profit calculate the net profit 23 lakh 40,000 minus 5,000 okay minus 5,000 minus 20,000 minus 40,000 minus 4 lakh 80,000 minus 3 lakh 50,000 minus 8 lakh so net profit is 6 lakh 45,000 is it so Net profit is six lakh forty five thousand. That's what net profit six lakh forty five thousand to net profit. Okay, that's with regard to the preparation of profit and loss account. That's with regard to the preparation of profit and loss account. Okay, okay. Next, we need to prepare the cost sheet. Finally, prepare the cost sheet. 
cost sheet for the year ended 31st March 2021. Draw the format. Here is an information regarding the uh, uh, units. So it is better to maintain the column for units. Okay. Better to maintain the column for units. First column is for units. First column is for units. Write the units. Next column is total in terms of rupee. Next third column is cost per unit. Cost per unit. Third column is cost per unit. last column third column is cost per unit okay with regard to cost accounts cost sheet with regard to the preparation of cost sheet the cost direct materials cost accounts for the year show that the direct material consumption was rupees 28 lakh it is directly given so direct materials consumed or cost of materials consumed okay okay it's cost of materials consumed or direct metals consumed okay so it is given 28 lakhs cost of materials consumer okay what we were doing actually in the, the last problem uh, so we were taking the opening stock of materials to that we were adding purchases to that we were detecting closing stock that is actually the procedure we should take opening stock we should add or purchases and we should deduct the closing stock that's in net amount is is considered as the cost of materials consumed but here the cost of materials consumed or the cost of direct material consumed is given directly 28 lakhs okay that's given that's given so we can calculate Okay, what's the amount? 28 lakhs. Amount is 28 lakhs. What, what's the units produced actually? Okay, what's the units produced actually? Here observing here, what's the unit sold? Unit sold is, okay, unit sold is 60,000. Unit sold is 60,000. And still there is a finished goods of, goods is finished, that is available. That is 20, that is 2000 units that's what the closing stock okay so unit producer means units produced units produced units produced equal to units sold units sold plus Closing stock of finished goods plus closing stock of finished goods. Finished goods. So, what is the unit sold? Unit sold is 60,000. 60,000 units plus closing stock of finished goods 2,000 units. In total, Units produced is 62,000 units. In total, units produced is 62,000 units. So, units produced is 62,000. So, what is the cost per unit? 28 lakh plus 62,000. That is equal to 45.16. Forty-five point one six. Okay, that's with regard to cost of materials consumed. Then direct wages. Then direct wages. What's the direct wages? Direct wages. 
direct wages that is rupees 15 lakhs that is 15 lakhs direct wages is 15 lakhs 15 lakhs okay what's the cost per unit 15 lakhs divided by 62 thousand 24.19 24.19 any other direct expenses so i told i told at the time of preparation of the cost sheet sorry profit and loss account we don't consider the factory over as a direct expenses or we don't consider the factory over it for the purpose of prime cost we write separately under the head the factory over it okay so now we can go for calculating the prime cost prime cost is 28 lakh plus 15,000 43 lakh okay. 43 lakhs so units produced 62,000 so what is the cost per unit 43 lakh 43 lakh divided by 62,000 69.35 69.35 prime cost next factory over it next word factory over it Factory overhead is given. This is given directly. Factory overhead 8 lakhs. Write the factory overhead in the inner column. Okay, factory overhead rupees 8 lakhs. Write in the inner column 8 lakhs. less there is no opening work in progress but there is a closing work in progress is that sorry factory over it is not 8 lakhs it is as per financial books it is given factory over it is recovered at 20 percent on prime cost okay i'm sorry factory over it is recovered as 20 percent on prime cost so not 8 lakhs how to calculate factory over it factory over it is 20 percent on prime cost 43 lakh 43 lakh into 20 percent what is a 20 percent of 43 lakh what is a 20 percent of 43 lakh 43 lakh into 20 percent 8 lakh 60 thousand 8 lakh 60 thousand this is factory over it as per this is factory over it as per the costing books okay and there is the information regarding closing work in progress closing work in progress should be deducted okay less closing work in progress less closing work in progress so what's the closing work in progress closing work in progress that is 1 lakh 20 thousand 1 lakh 20,000 1 lakh 20,000 closing work in progress is 1 lakh 20,000 we should it should be deducted yeah, deduct from 8 lakh 60,000 you will get the factory over it, net factory over it so it's 7 lakh 40,000 8 lakh 60 minus 1 lakh 20 that is 7 lakh 40 thousand 7 lakh 40 thousand what's the cost per unit 7 lakh 40 divided by 62 thousand 11.94 11.94 
actually it is 11.935 so it's 11.94 only two digits are enough okay so calculate the factory cost 43 lakh 43 lakh plus 7 lakh 40,000 50,400 factory cost or work cost is 50,400 yes 50,000 sorry sorry 50 lakh 40,000 50 lakh 40,000 calculate the cost per unit cost per unit cost per unit what's the cost per unit divided by 62 lakh sorry 82,000 81.29 81.29 what is this actually this is actually the factory cost or work cost factory cost this is actually factory cost or work cost factory cost or work cost Next is office and administrative overhead. Next one is the office and administrative overheads. Office and administrative overheads. Office and administrative overheads. Okay. What is given about office and administrative overhead? Uh, administrative overhead is recovered at 6 per unit at 6 per unit so per unit it is 6 per unit it is 6 what's given 6 per unit so 62,000 into 6 3 lakh 72,000 that is equal to 3 lakh 72,000 okay calculate the cost of production 3 lakh 72 plus 50 lakh 40,000 54 lakh 54 lakh 12,000 54 lakh 12,000 okay so units 62,000 what's the cost per unit cost per unit is 87.29 cost per unit it is 87.29 what is this actually cost of production that is cost of Production cost of production. Next word opening opening stock of finished goods. Actually, it is not given. It's better to take actually. So as it is not given, it is left to you. As it is better to go through the procedure. Uh, cost of production add opening stock of finished goods. That should be considered. Then after adding opening stock, then less closing stock of finished goods. Here in the problem, you need to go through the problem very clearly. If you are clear, then we can directly deduct closing stock of work in progress. Okay. So less, less closing stock of closing stock of finished goods. Finished goods. What's the closing stock of finished goods? Closing stock of finished goods is Closing stock of finished goods. Closing stock of finished goods. That is 2000 units. Closing stock of finished goods, 2000 units. Okay. And the value is given actually in the as per financial accounts. That is 1,60,000. This is as per financial accounts. But in the cost sheet, the private for method of pricing, there are Methods of pricing may be fee for leave for simple average or the weighted average. Actually, this is what the 62,000 units are actually produced. Actually, produced units are 62,000, and that unit per unit, what's the cost of producing these units? What's the cost of producing units? The cost of producing the units. Okay, so total units produced is 62,000 okay. cost of producing the units is for one unit 87.29 for one unit 
okay and these 62000 units are at the cost of rupees okay 87.29 per unit for one unit it is 87.29 but out of these 62000 units out of these 62000 units all the units are not sold okay all the units are not sold okay that means only 60000 units are sold right still i mean 60000 units are sold still there are there is 2000 units at the stock okay and that stock needs to be there at the rate of 87.29 only okay that stock of 2000 units should be at the rate of 87.29 only that means what will be the value 87.29 that is for one unit there are 2000 units are there in the stores or stock so that will be 1,74,580 amount is 1,74,580 1,74,580 okay write the amount write the amount 1,74,580 okay One lakh seventy four thousand five eight. Okay. Now units produced after this ready for sale. So actually this is ready for sale, but all the units are not sold. Two thousand units are still there in the stock. Okay. Now sixty thousand. So fifty four lakh twelve thousand minus one lakh seventy four five eight. That is equal to fifty two thousand. Fifty two thousand, fifty two thousand. That sorry, fifty two lakh thirty seven thousand four twenty. Is it so? Okay. Then what is the cost per unit? Cost per unit eighty seven point two nine. Eighty seven point two nine. This is what production cost of goods sold. Production cost of goods sold. production cost of goods sold next selling and distribution overheads next one is selling and distribution overheads okay what's given about selling and distribution overhead selling and distribution overhead is rupees 8 recovered at 8 per unit you are observing here it is recovered at 8 per unit per unit it is rupees 8 Per unit selling and distribution overhead is rupees eight. Okay, so sixty thousand units into eight, four lakh eighty thousand. Four lakh eighty thousand. Four lakh eighty thousand. Okay, four lakh eighty thousand plus fifty two thousand. Fifty two thousand. Sorry, fifty-two lakh thirty-seven thousand four twenty. That is equal to fifty-seven thousand. Sorry, fifty-seven lakh fifty-seven lakh seventeen thousand four twenty units sold. Sixty thousand cost per unit. What is the cost per unit? Ninety-five point two nine. Ninety-five point two nine. What is this actually? Cost of goods sold or total cost? Total cost. Okay, there is a information regarding sales. There is a information regarding sales. What is the value of sales? Value of sales is sixty lakh. Value of sales is sixty lakh. Write the value of sales. 
leave one line and then write sales what's the value of sales 60 lakh 60 lakh units sold 60,000 cost per unit 100 okay so it is sold at a profit of 2,82,580 rupees how it is 2,82,580 60 lakh minus 57 lakh 17,420 2 lakh 82,580 cost per unit profit per unit 4.71 4.71 Yes, it is 100. 95.29 plus 4.71, it is equal to 100. So, this is what profit. This is what profit. Profit as per cost accounts, 2 like 82,580. This is with regard to preparation of cost sheet. Okay. Next, we have to prepare the lastly reconciliation statement. Okay. Reconciliation statement as on 31st March 2021 particular rupees, particular rupees. Okay, so you have the option you can take costing profit as base, you can take financial profit as uh, profit as base. That is left to you. Okay. Whichever is convenient to you, kindly go for that. Okay, kindly go for that. So I'm taking costing profit as base. Okay, profit as per profit as per. Finance for cost books profit as per cost books What's a profit as per cost books just now we have prepared cost sheet profit as per cost sheet cost books is two lakh eighty two thousand five eighty kindly write that amount as a base two lakh 82,580 then what are the expenses are to be added now add add first thing is about the direct materials in financial books it is recorded as 25 lakhs but in cost books it is recorded as 28 lakhs you're observing in the problem problem itself direct materials in financial books in financial books it is recorded as 25 lakhs but in cost books that direct material is recorded as 28 lakhs okay that means in cost books it is overvalued by 3 lakhs as it is as direct material is overvalued by 3 lakhs costing profit is reduced by 3 lakhs now we need to add back that profit in order to reconcile okay over valuation first one over valuation of over valuation over valuation of direct materials over valuation of direct materials How much it is overvalued? How much it is overvalued? Kindly write the overvalued amount 28 lakhs. 28 lakhs minus 25 lakhs. So it is overvalued by 3 lakhs. It is overvalued by 3 lakhs. 
then what about direct wages it is recorded uh, correctly or recorded same in both the books that is 15 lakhs 15 lakhs okay there is no difference okay. then factory overhead what about factory overhead in financial books factory overhead is recorded as okay in financial books in financial books factory overhead factory overhead is recorded as 8 lakhs but in costing books that factory overhead it's recorded as 8 lakh 60000 i think so it's recorded as 8 lakh 60000 you're observing here that is recorded as 8 lakh 60000 so that means in costing books that factory overhead is overvalued by 60000 okay 8 lakh 60 minus 8 lakh 60000 that means costing profit is reduced by as there is a overvaluation of the factory overhead costing profit is reduced by 60000 now we need to add back that 60000 add overvaluation of factory overhead overvaluation of factory overheads factory overhead overvaluation of factory overhead how much it is overvalued how much it is overvalued 8 lakh 60 8 lakh 60 thousand minus 8 lakh it is overvalued by rupees overvalued by 60 thousand Okay, that's about factory overhead. Then administrative overhead. What about administrative overhead? Okay, in financial books, administrative overhead. In financial books, uh, administrative overhead is recorded as three lakh fifty thousand. In costing books, that administrative overhead is recorded as three lakh seventy two thousand. You're observing here, three lakh seventy two thousand. Three lakh seventy two thousand. Okay, that means in costing books, administrative overhead is overvalued by 22,000. Administrative overhead is overvalued by 22,000. As a result, costing profit is reduced by 22,000. Now we need to add back that 22,000 to the costing profit. Add overvaluation of the administrative overheads. Overvaluation of Overvaluation of administrative overheads. Overvaluation of administrative overheads. Okay, how much it is overvalued? It is overvalued by twenty two thousand. How it is twenty two thousand? Three lakh seventy two thousand. Okay. That is recorded in that is recorded in costing books three lakh seventy two thousand three lakh seventy two thousand but in financial books it is recorded as three lakh fifty so three lakh seventy two thousand minus three lakh fifty thousand so it is overvalued by twenty two thousand is overvalued by 22,000 then selling and distribution expenses selling and distribution expenses in uh, financial books it is recorded as in financial books it is recorded as 480,000 what about costing books I think even in costing books it is also recorded as 480 okay. as cost per unit is 8 60,000 into 8 that is equal to 480,000 that means there is no difference it is recorded correctly 480000 so there is no difference so nothing to do with selling and distribution overheads then bad debt bad debt is a financial loss there it is reduced financial property is reduced by 40000 that means we have to reduce even costing profit by 40000 that is a uh, item to be deducted then preliminary expenses written off 
preliminary expenses written up so financial expense there 20,000 is deducted I mean in the financial profit now we need to deduct 20,000 even from costing profit then legal charges I told in the beginning legal charges are administrative expenses actually it should be should have been included in the administrative overheads but it is given separately so we have de de uh, de uh, deducted even legal charges separately in the profit and loss account you are here observing legal charges this we have deducted separately not not we have included in the administrative overheads we are not included in the administrative overhead 3 lakh 50 thousand is written separately and 5 thousand is written separately okay that means so it is better to deduct legal charges separately or else one more option is uh, was there actually that's that means uh, that is we could have added okay we would, we would have added the 5000 to the 5000 to the 350000 three this will become actually don't write now please don't write this will become 350 plus 5000 this actually would, would have been 355000 actually what is the uh, what is the legal charges legal charges is 5000 yes legal charges is 5000 55000 so at that time also you will get the same answer Okay. or else it is better to deduct separately legal charges okay i prefer it is better to deduct separately okay legal charge should be deducted dividend ratio is a financial income there it is included now here also it should be included we need to increase costing profit by dividend ratio 50000 50000 then interest is issued interest is issued what is the amount of interest is issued 10000 then sales recorded correctly then closing stock of finished goods closing stock of finished goods in financial books it is recorded as 160000 closing stock of finished goods it is recorded as 160000 in financial books and what about costing in costing books closing stock of finished goods is recorded as 174000 is recorded as 174000 it's recorded as 1,74,580. Okay. That means it is overvalued. Actually, it is overvalued. Okay. It is overvalued by 14,580. Closing stock is overvalued. As a result, as there is an overvaluation of closing stock of finished goods, financial sorry costing profit is increased by 14580 now we need to reduce the costing profit by rupees 14580 it is the amount to be deducted that's a, okay then working progress working progress is in financial books in financial books it is recorded as it is recorded as 120000 and even in costing books it is recorded as 120000 Closing work in progress, 1,20,000. It's recorded as 1,20,000 only. 1,20,000 only. So there is no difference. There is no difference. Okay. So everything is over. Make the total 3 lakh plus 60,000. 3 lakh plus 60,000 plus 22,000 plus 50,000 plus 10,000. Four lakh forty two thousand. Plus two lakh eighty two thousand five eighty. Total is seven lakh twenty four thousand. Seven lakh twenty four thousand five eighty. less uh, 
okay and direct metal is written direct wages is written factory overhead is actually over valid administrative overhead is over valid selling and distribution overhead no effect bad debt bad debt bad debt what is the amount of bad debt financial loss 40000 financial loss is 40000 then preliminary expenses financial expenses preliminary expenses financial loss in financial books it is deducted here also it should be deducted amount is 20000 we need to reduce the financial costing profit by also rupees 20000 legal charges i told actually it should have been included the administrative overhead but it is not included so it should be sh shown separately legal charges 5000 we need to reduce the costing profit by also rupees 5000 then dividend receive financial income interest receive financial income closing stock of over valuation of closing stock of finished goods over valuation of closing stock of finished goods over valuation of closing stock of finished goods how much it is over valued that should be written actually over valuation of closing stock of finished goods it is over valued by in costing books it is recorded as costing books it is recorded as 1,74,580 here 1,74,580 one lakh seventy four thousand five eighty minus one lakh sixty thousand minus one lakh sixty thousand that means it is overvalued by fourteen thousand five eighty fourteen thousand five eighty so that's all make the total forty thousand forty thousand plus twenty thousand forty thousand plus twenty thousand plus 5000 plus 14580 that is equal to 79580 that is equal to 79580 okay now what about financial profit profit as per financial books Seven lakh twenty four thousand five eighty minus seventy nine five eighty six lakh forty five thousand six lakh forty five thousand. What is this actually? This is the profit as per financial books. Profit as per profit as per. financial books profit as per financial books 6,45,000 let's check once whether profit as per financial books 6,45,000 yes profit as per financial books is 6,45,000 so at the final we got the answer 6,45,000 Profit as per costing books two lakh eighty two thousand five eighty. Yes, cost profit as per cost it is two lakh eighty two thousand five eighty. So we have reconciled, we have identified the reasons for the uh, difference in the profits between the costing profit and the financial profit. This is with regard to uh, this problem. So thank you so much for watching the class. We will meet in the next class.